Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today we're going to be discussing part three of this video, which I will be adding color contrast curve as well as a few other things. So we're going to dive right into that now. So what we're going to do first right now is we're actually going to go up to my actions here and we're going to do a color contrast curve. We're going to go ahead and do that because we want a little bit more of a pop in the photo. Typically when you look at commercial work or commercial photography, you can notice that there is a lot of heavy blacks and a lot of high contrast. Again, it depends on the campaign and the photo, but in this instance, I want to have a little bit more contrast. Typically the client's going to like something like that. It's going to look more realistic. It's going to have more of a pop to it. So let me show you what that is going to look like right now with and without that curves one. So that is without it. That is with it. So it's just a tad bit more contrast. You can actually see it here in the blacks and you can notice that you know it just adds a bit of pop and it's what I like so we're gonna leave it like that command shift E on our keyboard which will get that portion and bring it into the backdrop which is what we're working on or I should say background layer so that is pretty much it for that I'm not gonna touch anything more so a couple of more things we're going to do here is we're going to actually just look at the skin tone. So we're going to come back up here to filter. We're going to come back to camera raw filter. Now we want to make sure that everything looks balanced. The colors look good. Everything looks great to me. I just want to go ahead and just kind of play around with the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks, just kind of fine tune some things. So I'm going to jump into that right now and I'll fast forward so you guys can see the end result. All right, guys, so here is what it's going to look like with those fine adjustments. Like I said, just really fine. We're fine tuning things so the photo looks more presentable to the client or to the person that we're going to be submitting this photo to. So what I did and let me show you right over here. So we're going to toggle the visibility on and off. Right. So you see that difference, right? And the reason I'm doing that is just to emphasize a few more things, right? So the biggest thing that I noticed is we need to adjust shadows, right? So we got to have that bit of the pop in the hair and in some of the clothing. We want that. We want to have just a tiny bit of pop in that clothing. So next couple of things that I'm going to look at here is the tint. We're going to go over that again and we're going to go over vibrance and saturation. Temperature is perfect. It's exactly where I want it. We can look at it again, but there's no need to touch that. So I'll go through this really quickly and I'll let you guys see the end result. All right, guys, so I'm done with the color. I'm going to go ahead and toggle it off and on so you can see what the difference looks like. So this is obviously the original. This is just slightly cooler. I mean, I adjusted that just by negative three and I adjusted the vibrance by plus five. So it's just those incremental things we want to do. And we're going to scroll down, just do a few more things. And this photo is almost done. So the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to actually look at the detail of the photo. We're going to look at the sharpening we want to see, okay, is this, you know, sharp enough. So what we can actually do here is go in and jump in just about 33% or even let's say 50% to this photo just to see the sharpening. Okay. So we're going to just adjust it just a tad. I would say about seven. We don't want it over sharpened on that skin, right? Noise reduction. We're actually going to pick that up just a tad bit at about, I would say, let's do 10. Yeah. I like 10 color noise reduction. We can kind of play around with that, but I don't think we're going to need that in this photo. So let's just leave that as a five. And that actually is looking pretty good. So, you know, we can actually go step back. That's too far, obviously, right? We can go back to 25%. So 25% looks really good in this photo. Um, yeah, I think it looks good so far. So we're going to leave it at, at that and we're going to finish up the final steps here. So we're going to hit OK. OK, so now the photo is, I would say, basically done. The last step is going to be 
exporting and putting a bunch of metadata and making sure the copyright's good and making sure that all the information is in the photo. So that's going to be in part four of this video. But for now, that's it. If you guys liked it, please stick around. I'm going to be doing more videos like this. Let me know what more specifics you want to see and I'll be sure to dive into them. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.